Hey, hey, welcome back to another look at the monthly update for Polestar 2 range and efficiency numbers. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. And in summary, what we do here is collect real world trips from other Polestar 2 drivers. We put all the numbers together and we review those on a monthly basis. So this is the review for July 2021 and let's get going. So first of all, I would like to welcome a new submitter from Canada. It's good to have you with us and uh, thanks for submitting your trips. Here you can see we have uh, trip submissions from nine different countries and 80 individual contributors with a total of 677 trips logged so far. July has been another good month with 107 trip submissions, uh, which has taken us up to that 677 overall number. On this page, you can see all the con people have contributed to uh, this effort. And uh, if you've made a submission and put your name on there, your name should be somewhere on the screen. Thanks to everyone who's uh, submitted trips. This is really helping us uh, get some more accurate data for our Pulse Lot 2 cars. July awards. Uh, so this was uh, item I introduced last month. And as you can see, most trips submitted this month. We have a tie in first place with uh, Chris Van Rowey and Polestar Warrior, both submitting 25 trips. Great work by you two. When we have a look at the most efficient driver this month, again, it's Chris Van Rowey, and he's achieving 3.67 miles per kilowatt hour. And then Chris is taking it away with all three of the top prizes this month with the most distance traveled at 909 miles. Along the bottom, you can see the data for number of trips, efficiency, and uh, most distance for all the data that we have in the database. Moving on to consumption. So here we can see in July, uh, the average kilowatt hours per 100 miles is coming in at 28.9, which is down 0 0.2 from the June number. And the equivalent of that is 17.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is also down 0 0.2 from June. Converting those numbers into miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour, we can see in July we achieved 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. And it's the same as June due to rounding, but if you have a look on the chart, you can see July was slightly better than uh, the June 3.5. The curve was still going up. The equivalence in kilometers for July is 5.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour. And a quick reminder that we calculate all of the ranges based on 75 kilowatt hours usable battery. So what does that translate to in terms of range? So here we see in July the range went up another four miles to 264 miles. The equivalent of that is 425 kilometers. On the top right, you see uh, the average over all the months, which is currently at 238 miles and 383 kilometers. Both of those being slightly above the EPA range, but still well below the WLTP range. This next slide uh, will show you a breakdown. So uh, shortly, I expect uh, the new models to start shipping, uh, which will be a standard range single motor or a long range single motor or long range dual motor. All of the cars delivered in this first year were all long range dual motor. So that's why you can see the graph there and the other two are blank. But as new data comes in, these uh, 
other charts will fill in so then we'll be able to start comparing uh, the difference between the different Pulse, Pulse Star 2 models. Uh, this next page is a new page that I've added which again will compare the different models um, and as you can see currently only long range dual motor has some data the other two have no data yet but as it comes in we look forward to welcoming new new members who receive the long range or standard range single motor versions and hope you can start submitting your data when you get your cars yeah you see the range by country uh, which charts all the submissions over the different months and you'll be able to compare your country to other submissions in that country and the next page also shows the same information but in numbers so you can go down and see for your country how you compare to other people in your area so just a quick video this month to uh, show you the numbers don't forget that the full report is available at polestardriver.com forward slash report and uh, there you'll be able to see many pages of data including temperatures speeds and all sorts of other numbers if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments below and we will respond to them accordingly and don't forget to submit your trips in august i suspect we may get a number of longer trips uh, than a normal month because of the holidays but uh, thank you to everyone who is submitting trips and please keep it up we will we are using these numbers and it's giving us a very good indication about how this uh, how the cars performance in terms of range and efficiency is working at the start of September we would have reached the point where the first cars were being delivered so we're heading towards a full year of data and as we go uh, through the rest of the months in this year we will collect much more data compared to what we had last year once again thank you for watching please do give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when the next video comes out. I look forward to seeing you next month.